While independent contractors are often referred to as 1099 employees, they technically aren't employees of the organizations they work with. Knowing the difference between employees and contractors is essential for any employer or HR department to avoid tax penalties or lawsuits due to misclassification. In this video, I'll explain what a 1099 employee is, how they differ from W-2 employees, and what you need to know when hiring a contractor. What is a 1099 employee? A 1099 employee is an independent contractor. The name comes from IRS Form 1099, which contract workers must complete to report their earnings. Here are some common types of 1099 employees. Freelancers, consultants, self-employed workers, sole proprietors, and gig workers, such as Uber or Lyft drivers and Airbnb hosts. What is the difference between a W-2 and a 1099 employee? This is a common question from business owners and HR professionals. W-2 employees are workers directly employed by your organization. These workers, also known as regular employees, must earn at least the minimum wage, and many state and federal laws apply to benefits and overtime hours. In contrast, contractors work for themselves. They are responsible for providing their own tools and equipment, setting their schedules, and paying their income taxes and other applicable forms of self-employment tax. You don't directly control how contractors do their jobs, where they work, or what tools they use. Contractors also generally work on a contract basis, meaning your relationship with them ends once work is complete or you sign another contract. If you aren't sure if your workers are employees or contractors, you can file Form SS-8 with the IRS for review. How does a 1099 employee get paid? When hiring a contractor, you'll need to decide how you'll pay them, how often they'll be paid, and what the measurables are for payment. The three primary ways to pay contractors are hourly, by retainer, and on a project basis. No matter which payment method you choose, be sure to draft a written contract outlining your decision. Since contractors aren't employees, you don't need to withhold or file taxes. You also aren't responsible for payroll taxes, unemployment insurance, or business expenses. Knowing the distinction between employees and contract workers will help you avoid legal trouble while taking advantage of the flexibility and cost savings of hiring freelance workers. To learn more, you can read our article on this topic. We provided a link to it in the description. If you're an employer looking to provide employee benefits, PeopleKeep can help. Our personalized benefits administration platform makes it easy to set up and manage HRAs or employee stipends in just minutes each month. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more employee benefits and small business tips. Thanks for watching.